You never cared about me feelings. Just thought you cared. What about how you feel? What about how I feel? Sure, you're right, Captain. I'm still a quarter of a day. You know, when you went to war, she was fucking like that. And when you came back, you was getting all that good love. See, now, you might consider me part of the family, like a daddy. But now you home, I'm gone. You know who that is? Head president. <laughs> All right, Cap. What you gonna do, Glad? I'm a piss on this motherfucker. Why you gonna do some magic here like that? Cause I'm a nasty motherfucker. <laughs> <sighs> Want me to tell you a joke? <laughs> Traveling across the country, right? He came across this form. The nigga jokes, so don't take it, don't take it serious, my niggas. So they come across the crops. They run the crops to eat some shit. The owner comes out with a crow up and shoots in the air and let them let them come to him. So they come to him, they tell him that we are we're on a journey across the world. We was hungry, we wanted to get some you know, something to eat. He's like, go ahead, bring back one thing out of my crops that you want to eat. Agent come back. A nigga come back with a string bean. Put the string bean in your ass. I ain't put a shit in my ass. <laughs> put the string bean in his ass. The Asian, I mean, the, uh, the white boy, no, not the white boy. The Mexican come back with a corn. Like, yeah, this is what I want to eat, huh? Put that in your ass. I ain't put shit in my ass, huh? <laughs> Mexican put that in his ass. White boy come back with what? An apple. Like, this is what I want to eat. Like, all right, put that in your ass, and nigga has it. I ain't putting shit in my ass. <laughs> white boy sticking it in his ass. But while the white boy sticking it in his ass, he laughing. The owner comes to him like, fuck you laughing for, boy. That nigga over there getting the wall of man. Get it? That nigga over there getting.